everybody. Hi. It's so good to see you today. I'm Muffy. I'm Chrissy. And today we are going to, it is, will be the second Sunday in Advent when you see this, which is so exciting. And so what we're going to do is before we go in and discuss that, we are going to say our Bible verse, which is from Psalms. And um, are we ready? We are. We'll Let's say, say it in it unison. All together. Okay. Ready? Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. That was great. That was good. Y'all are doing such a great job with that. And so, as I said, we have now moved into the season of Advent. So, we've been, we started off here at Pentecost and we've gone all the way up through All Saints Day and Christ the King Sunday. And now, we are in the second Sunday of Advent. And this means that we're preparing for the birth of Jesus. And Chrissy is going to share with us the story as it's a godly place story. So I want everybody to get comfortable. And um, Chrissy's going to get ready to tell you the story. Thank you, Muffy. You're welcome. This is the season of Advent, the time we get ready to celebrate the mystery of Christmas. Advent means arrival or coming in Latin. Advent starts on the Sunday closest to November 30th and it lasts four weeks and ends at Christmas. So we have one, two, three, four. It is a time of reflection or thinking about the coming of the baby Jesus. During the season of Advent, we are all on the way to Bethlehem, where Jesus will be born. During the season of Advent, we are on the way to Bethlehem to meet the Christ child. But who will show us the way? Prophets. Prophets are people who listen and speak the word of God so they can show us the way. Isaiah was a prophet and he had a message. He knew one day the Messiah would be born. The Messiah would be like a light shining in the darkness. Isaiah's message is in the Bible and Muffy will share that with us. Yes. It's in the book of Isaiah in chapter 8 and it says, the people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. This candle symbolizes hope and is called the prophet's candle. The prophets of the Old Testament, especially Isaiah, waited in hope that the Messiah would come. Here are Mary and Joseph and their donkey. And they're on the way to Bethlehem. They can show us. They have a secret. An angel came to them and gave them a message. And that message is in the Bible. Muffy will tell us. Yes. It's in the book of Luke. And it says, the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. This candle represents faith and is called Bethlehem's candle. Prophets foretold that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem, which is also the birthplace of King David. It reminds us not to be fearful or afraid, but to be joyful on the way to Bethlehem. 
There were also shepherds and their sheep. They're on the way to Bethlehem to see the special child who was born. An angel came to them with a message, good news, and that is also in the Bible. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news, news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. This candle represents joy, and it is called the shepherd's candle. The angels announced to the shepherd's great joy that Jesus came for everyone, even humble, unimportant people like them. Who else can show us the way? Angels, angels can show us the way. The angelic host proclaimed the birth of the savior, Christ the Lord. Angels have always been messengers of God. And on that first Christmas day, they came to declare there is a new king in town, one whose rule will never end. Let's hear what the Bible has to say. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, on, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. This candle represents peace and is called the angel's candle. The angels announced that Jesus came to bring peace and to bring people closer to God and closer to each other. At last, we come to Christmas, the day we celebrate the mystery of God becoming a person. On Christmas Day, we are all at Bethlehem to meet the Christ child, the special son of God. Here is the Christ child lying in a manger bed. Christ the light, a light to the whole world. This is the Christ candle. It represents purity and light, and it reminds us that Christ is light. The light of Christ can shine in the darkness, and the darkness will not overcome it. It can live within us all year, so we can have Christmas with us every day. Wasn't that a wonderful story? Thank you. Christy, thank you so much. I loved hearing about all the different, what all the different candles stand for. And, and I have to say, it has really got me in the mood for Christmas, which is wonderful. So today we're going to do things just a little bit differently at the end. We're not going to have our meditation, but we're going to end with prayer. And I have a book called, a prayer book called God of My Heart which are, is a prayer book for young people. And so I'm gonna read an Advent prayer that was written by a young person. And it was, um, she, this person, her name is Lynn. She um, was reflecting on the verse, keep alert, stand firm in your faith, be courageous, be strong, let all that you do be done in love. And this is from 1 Corinthians. And so I'm going to read this to you to end our day. And it's been a lot of fun to be with you. God of love, if only our attitude toward life was as simple as these verses that sum up all of life. We need to be alert and waiting for Jesus to come again. When trials and tribulations that we just can't understand come our way, we have the opportunity to stand firm in our faith. Having a brave and strong faith will get us through the challenges of life. Most importantly, we must treat all persons, guard all actions, 
and do all our work in love. It seems very logical and simple, but it can be hard to do. Please, God, help me remember and refer back to these few powerful words as I go about my day. When things are rushed and time is short, help me to do all my work in love. When people say words that hurt me, help me to be brave and strong and work my way through the hurt. And last of all, when I doubt your plans and your love for me, help me to stand firm in the struggle and know my faith in you will not fail me. Today, I will offer all my work and study as a gift of love in preparation for Christmas. Amen. Amen. Well, it was great fun being with you all, and we're going to look forward to seeing you next week where we will continue with um, our Beatitudes. So have a great week, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.